Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm always blazing here, back with another video. Today is going to be a joint rolling tutorial. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests to make a video like this, so I'm going to be rolling a joint with a filter inside. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. But uh, before we jump into the actual rolling tutorial, I just want to let you guys know, um, I don't know if you guys have heard, but YouTube lately has been striking a lot of channels down, uh, a lot of cannabis channels, excuse me. Um, some big ones like Coral Reefer or even uh, another guy like Urban Ramo have actually gotten their channels taken down from YouTube. So that's the reason why I haven't really been uploading frequent, uh, consistent content as of lately. I just kind of wanted to lay low for a little bit and just kind of see what happens with all these um, YouTube channels getting taken down. Nothing has happened to my channel yet, thank God, but I just, you know, don't want to rock the boat or just, you know, do anything wrong to make my channel get striked or for them to remove it. So that's why I haven't been really making any videos. Um, and another thing I really wanted to say is, Thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, we actually hit 1,990 subscribers. So we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I honestly never would have thought I would even get over 100 subscribers, let alone 2,000. So thank you to all the new viewers and all the new people enjoying the channel. Thank you guys so much. And without further ado, let's get into this rolling tutorial. All right, so what you guys will need to roll a joint with a filter is A, you're gonna need some rolling papers. So for today we have some raw classics. These are the single wide version. Uh, that's what they look like. Pretty good paper. Uh, they don't really use any other chemicals or any additives in their papers, which I really like. So it's a nice clean um, burn without any chemicals inside. All right, so you're gonna need first a paper. So let me take that out. All right, so we got a raw paper out. Make sure it's nice and flat. So I'll leave that there. Um, what else you're gonna need to, to make a filter is pretty thick kind of, not really cardboard, but I guess a thicker type of paper. This is like an old bank document that I had. Um, I really like this material for making filters. It's easy to kind of roll up in your fingers, but at the same time, it won't fall apart like a really thin piece of paper. So once you have that done, um, what you're going to want to do is basically just kind of take a look at how big you want your filter. So let's say this is how big your paper is. Let's say you want your filter to be about that big coming from that end. Well, then basically what you want to do is just, you know, get your paper and your uh, filter paper and just kind of line it up and just see, you know, how much filter paper you want. Sorry that it's kind of going out of focus right now, guys. Let me try and get that into focus. There we go. So yeah, you just want to kind of measure out how big you want your filter. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and just cut it myself. So what you're going to want to do is get some scissors. And I'm thinking, yeah, that should be about good. So what you want to do is kind of cut just like that. You're going to get a little piece out. You don't want it too long just because this is a smaller kind of joint paper. And if you have a too big of a filter, you won't really be able to roll it that easily. So what you want to do now is just without cutting your fingers off. I'm trying to do this through the camera, which is not really recommended. But yeah, you wanna cut about that much off. Kinda of just rip it out like that. You can toss that aside, toss your scissors aside. And then once you have your little filter paper here, what you kinda of wanna do is get your two thumbs and just kinda of start just wrapping it around like that. And what that's gonna do is just basically get the paper ready to be rolled up. So then what you kind of want to do is just kind of press it like with your thumbs like that, going back and forth, back and forth. And as you can see, it'll kind of slowly start rolling up just like that with a little bit more pressure, stuff like that. You'll be able to get it nice and rolled. Um, you can also fix it, re-roll it, just keep raveling it and unraveling it to make sure it's a nice, perfect filter. But yeah, that's the basics of rolling up a filter. There's many ways of doing it. You could, you know, fold your flaps a, a few times to make a W like Wiz Khalifa does. Wow, that's so cool. But in my opinion, if I'm just rolling a joint to smoke it quick, I really don't care what the filter looks like. And that will do perfectly fine. So I'm going to set that aside now. And 
what else you need is obviously a grinder. Today we have the Santa Cruz shredder, some nice weed. This is the forum cut cookies that I picked up not too long ago. I'll just show you guys quickly. Hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah, some nice weed. So get your weed out, obviously. Um, let me see. That should be good right there. And you're also going to need, obviously, a nice lighter. A uh, pencil if you want just to pack down the end of it. Alright guys, so once you guys have your weed basically ground, uh, what you're going to want to do is just basically put your filter inside your paper just like that. And then obviously you're going to want to get your weed and just kind of dump it in the paper. If it's okay if some falls out anyways, you can just pack it in later, so don't worry about that. All right, so once you have the weed in there, you want your filter just there to the left or to the right, depends on how you roll. And one big tip I can really give for rolling joints with a filter is, I don't know if I could show you this on camera, but you basically want the size of your filter to be the exact same size and amount of weed you have. So if I have too little of weed against my filter, it's gonna be really floppy and not a really pleasant smoke. So what you wanna do, and I'll show you that in a second, make sure your filter is like that. You can also press your weed in just a little bit like that and just start basically rolling it up just like every other joint. Um, if you guys haven't seen my other joint rolling tutorial, um, I could sh uh, give you guys a link to that if you guys wanna check that out as well. So yeah, just keep packing down your weed, up and down, up and down, roll that stuff up. And another tip I can give you guys when rolling a joint with a filter is try your best to always keep one thumb on the filter. And the reason is, is if I start going up this way and, you know, not really forgetting, I mean, not really paying attention to the filter um, and you just keep rolling, 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 this could actually just fall out, which is kind of annoying when you roll a joint with a filter. You're always kind of putting it back in and fiddling with it. But um, yeah, sorry, let me just kind of focus here and get this joint rolled up nicely. Because it's going to be kind of embarrassing if I roll a pretty shit joint on camera, you know what I'm saying? Which I think I might have put in a little bit too much weed in this one. But it doesn't matter, you can always get it done. Alright, so once you guys have the basic shape of your joint, I'll show you guys again. As you guys can see, the filter and the weed is the exact same size. It's not smaller, it's not too big above the filter. In my opinion, that is perfect. So what you want to do is keep all the pressure on the filter with one thumb. Make sure your joint is nice and shaped. And then what you're going to want to do is basically just bring the paper down above the weed. And just make sure what you do is you roll it and make sure it's really tight around the filter. So you know you just keep your thumb on the filter. See how the paper is going right there? And now you're, there's no paper left. So now you, what you want to do is just basically start rolling it up just like that see how it's rolling up beautifully then you just kind of want to fix the end with your thumb a little bit and yeah you're pretty much halfway there you can poke that in if you want as well some's gonna fall so don't worry about it and I'm just gonna give it a quick lick so that's the top part that's licked and you just want to basically do it like that and you also with raw papers you want to lick very gently because if you lick it too moist, it'll actually unravel, which I do hate. So, sorry, I'm going to lick this again. And, yeah. Done skis. And as you guys can see, you have a perfectly rolled joint with a beautiful filter that is going to smoke perfectly. Um, I know you guys have been requesting this video for a long, long time. I've been kind of loafing on it, so I apologize for that. But yeah, here is your joint rolling tutorial with a filter, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to pack this down with uh, a pencil. This is basically the last step. Um, and another thing I'll show you, which is, I guess, kind of a joint rolling tip, which I like to use a lot. So once you have your joint like that, some people like to twist off the end. In my opinion, it's better to just fold it in just like that 
and what that does is it gives it kind of a flat uh, section so that when you start lighting it with the lighter I'm not gonna do it because I'm in my house but when you start lighting it with the lighter it gives it a nice even burn and your joint won't run it won't start canoeing right off the bat and it'll just be a more pleasurable smoking experience so yeah that's all I have for today guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is I'm always blazing uh, joint rolling tutorial with a filter and yeah hopefully you guys are having a big day peace